Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we're testing the Draco Cliff in 2021, April 2021, this new season. And well, actually we are on the goodwill battles. So yeah, we are not risking our points testing this, which I won't think will be so bad. But well, you know, for the sake of testing, I think this is safer. And yeah, for this first fight, we are facing Yong Hong. And yeah, uh, we are not facing Yong Hong any longer, I think. Oh, she survived. Nice. And, you know, that's Siander. Unless that Molong stripped the wheels, then he kind of can't do anything. So, once we defense break a unit, that unit will go down. And that's it for the panda. Almost done. And we won this. A nice one. Now, yeah, this guy. Higher ranking than us. And the meta cliff. And, oh, a light panda. Yeah. That's a very bad unit for us. So, let's see how this one goes. And he outsped. But, Chiwu is fired. So we have a chance for him glancing. And it did not happen here. We resisted. We plain resisted. And we were raided by stunning Ken. So now we go kill his full team. And that's it. A little bit of RNG helped us here. And this guy. This guy is unranked, but he's very, very strong. And I think you may have seen him in the Woodwill battles because, you know, he's there all the time. He has like a million wins out there. And he has a very nice RNG. He's a sort of laggy person. So yeah, I will let you watch this. that one fair and square and we fight him again and oh guys this guy is a pain he is a pain so yeah we went for this fire clip and he went for water of course good choice and this is what happened there's a wild cure that buff on this guy was amazing for to counter clips and we failed the strip and reset which is sort of really really bad for us but we still have gabra so if we manage to kill that girl but the additional turn and the additional turn and you know how this goes so yeah, failing the reset on the occult girl and you know, the additional turns also helped. So yeah, sometimes you can't win. But his draft was great. And of course, the, the, the blue druid is amazing against these kind of comps. 
And now we are fighting a speed battle. We won the speed fight. So basically, after winning the speed fight, we win the fight. That's it. I will show you the rooms afterwards, so you can see how to tune them up. And yeah. Now, this guy went for Bastard first, and I will show you this one, because, you know, I used my, my Tableau and ended up destroying him, because, you know, he was forced to ban the, the Kabila there, because, you know, he was relying on outspeeding, and, yeah, what else can I say? He was completely destroyed. Now, moving on to the topic of this video, testing the Draco and Bastet. We already know that Tableau works. And we're facing a very meta, a very meta team against a guy that's C2 like us. And, well, I banned the, the Water Rayo and I went for my arch nemesis, Leo. And he had to ban Leo. But, yeah, we are actually on some will room. So, well, this is what happens. And if I got the, the, the attack buff on Lucian, the, that team will have been wiped out completely. But he went for the Shinryuken, and he goes for the Tatsumaki Sambukyaku, and that was not enough to kill my beautiful, beautiful Shimite. And that was a lovely final fight. Now, guys, if you are facing someone like me out there, please go for the Shinryuken on the Shimite, the only threat the opponent has. Don't be overconfident because that kind of thing can happen to you and for the point it will have been very bad. So yeah. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and yeah, my final verdict is that this cliff with these units is very hard to use right now. Maybe you should go for the single that single target damage dealers like for instance Garo and Laika and of course Odin so that you can go for a different approach about wiping the opponent team right now nowadays with all the counters that are out there sort of really really hard and yeah I think it's harder and harder to cleave every single season so Maybe, maybe you can make it to Conqueror 1, of course, with this, and you can make it fast and you can clear your, your wings really, really fast. So this is a very good team for, for those of you that are aiming for Conqueror 1 and, uh, and want to clear your wings fast for the rewards. Well, then go for it. But if you're aiming to go above Conqueror 1, maybe Conqueror 2 or Conqueror 3, or even if you're trying to go G1, you will need crazy, crazy runes for that. So yeah, that's my verdict, guys. Thank you very much for watching this, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.